Right, so here's a quick video showing you some options that you might not know you have on the Rain 64, and there are shift options that have secondary, basically allow for the controls to have secondary function. Uh, these, most of these controls you can find also within the Rain control panel through system preferences if you're on a Mac or the control panel if you're on a PC, but we wanted to put it into the mixer so you can change it while you're actually DJing. So you'll notice that there's some buttons on here that have arrow up arrows next to them. Those are the ones that have the secondary function. To get to that secondary function, you want to hold down the shift key down here in the effects section and then press the button for the secondary function. You'll notice I press the filter button and now I have four different filter options that I can scroll through using this beat joystick. And then to select it, I just simply press down on the joystick and go through the filter types that way. You also have four different echo types that can be changed in real time, two different flanger types. Um, so that's the effect section. There's also the ability to change the effect insert uh, input. So if you're using, say, a consumer grade effects processor that's not sending enough output, then you can change the uh, output level here so you get a good robust output. Also, if you press any of the Q buttons for any of the four channels, you can change the f resonance of each of the filter knobs. So get into that menu, menu once again, hold down shift, press the Q button. Now you can change the resonance filter of each filter, the resonance of each filter by moving this time knob left or right. <coughs> and you can also choose the record source of that input. So if you're going to use DVS, you definitely want to be uh, using phono slash CD for all the inputs. Um, if you wanted to do post fader recording, you would choose deck three post, but in most cases, keep it on phono slash CD. So you have that for all the filters here. Um, another secondary function is the sync on off button for Serato DJ. So hold down shift, press the button to turn sync on, press it again to turn it off. Another secondary function is over here on the split cue button. If you press that, now in the effects section, you're going to see your record options. So you have the ability to choose the main record, or you can just choose what's coming into the microphone one or just microphone two. You can also change the main output to mono there. There is some hidden features that do not have arrows next to them that we sort of added later. Uh, there's just a few. The first being the non-PGM MIDI button. So if you hold down shift and press that, now in the effects section, you'll see what firmware version is currently installed on the mixer. So you can use that for a, a quick check. And then lastly, at the top, you can turn these mics into MIDI mode. So if you hold down the shift key and press the mic on button for both microphones or either or, you'll notice it starts flashing at you. Now you're in MIDI mode and you can assign any of these knobs and even the flex effect button to a MIDI parameter inside the software of choice that you're using and, and be able to control it with these knobs and buttons here. So that's it, a little bit more information about the Rain 64 for you.